Today it's time to pot up my asparagus. I have a towel to work over, some gloves, that's my tool, a plastic spoon. I have a tray of newspaper pots that I made. This is what I'm going to pot the asparagus into. And then we have the asparagus. I also have a bucket of dirt on the ground that I'm going to use to repot them. So this is a burpee seed starting tray. It has silicone uh, bottoms, so that's how you pop out the seedlings. This is the first time I am using one of these trays. I got it on clearance at the end of last season. So far, it seems to be working really well. It's a very sturdy plastic. It has a tray that also doubled as a humidity dome for when I started the seeds. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that half of this tray is already empty. I seeded this side with seeds I saved from my own garden, from the asparagus that was already growing. And I think I messed up. I think that I harvested the berries too early and the seeds were not mature. I did get one little guy growing, but I have more seeds. I can start more of those later. This side I seeded with um, seeds from MI Gardener. They are Mary Washington asparagus. Out of the 36 that I sowed, only two did not germinate. There is a short, short little guy in here, but I'm sure he will catch up to the others. Otherwise, I'm very happy with the seeds, and we'll see how this tray works when I pop them all out. I did pop out this dirt just to get it out of the way, and that popped out really easily. I did notice that the roots are starting to go th grow, grow through, um, so hopefully they haven't started to spiral. But we will see when we start popping these guys out. I will go ahead and get started. Let's pop out the first little guy. Yep, no, no swirling of the roots. I do have two, I did plant two seeds per cell and I am going to leave them. I'm not going to separate them. First one done. I do like to use the newspaper pots. It takes up less room. I don't have to store a whole bunch of pots. I may not really know ahead of time how many seeds have germinated, how many plants I want to keep, how much I want to separate. So being able to just have a stack of newspaper in the basement to grab and make a new pot at a moment's notice works really well for me so far. Um, I do notice that the more you handle the pots, they can tend to break down faster. So I try not to move them around too much. Asparagus is actually one of my favorite crops to grow that I never thought I would grow. It was actually already planted on our property when we purchased it. Um, did not know when we purchased it that there was asparagus. We saw that there were some garden beds, but we looked at the house in February. It was covered in snow, and I didn't know until May that there was asparagus. Never really had asparagus before. Didn't think I would like asparagus. 
but it has turned out to be something that we really enjoy. It's only in season in our area for about a month. So we have a ton of it for just about the month of June. And then that's it. It is a perennial that comes back every year. It is very low maintenance for me. And I am only growing it this year because we are expanding the garden, moving the uh, bed that the asparagus is in already, and I'm not sure how they will transport. They are probably at least 15 year old plants, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to dig them out and transplant them very easily. So I am just planning on starting over with a completely new bed of asparagus. So that is why I have grown more this year. And if you have the space to dedicate to a perennial crop, asparagus is definitely one that I would recommend. I just have my one little guy left that I saved seed from, but I don't think I have soil and I ran out of containers, so let me go grab another newspaper pot, a little bit more soil, and I will be right back. Okay, now that this guy is all potted up, I'm just about done. I'm not going to water these guys today. The soil was pretty moist, so I'm going to let them settle and then we'll water them another time. I can say that I'm very happy with how the roots look. I'm very happy with the germination rate. I'm happy with this burpee tray that I got. I'll definitely be looking for more of those the next time. The asparagus is cold hardy. I'll probably start bringing them outside to spend some time in the sun soon. And then I plant them in the ground, usually about the beginning of April in my area, depending on how the weather looks. And that, that is it. That is my asparagus, all potted up, ready to start spending some time outside. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. This is Orion, he likes to get in my business. Um, hopefully he doesn't try to eat all my asparagus. We'll see how it goes. He might get kicked off the table. So this tray is a burpee silicone tray and the bottom sort of pop. Sturdy. Um, when you start the seeds, I just flipped it over on top of the seeds to help keep in the humidity. Although it doesn't snap on, it kind of rests on. And this is gonna be difficult. This is the first time I am using this kind of tray. I got it on clearance at the end of last year. So far, it's been really nice to work with. It looks like all of the roots are coming out of the bottom really easily and so I'm hoping that they're not starting to spiral and get root bound. But as we get going, we shall see. This little kitty cat is really getting in my way. So hopefully I can continue this video 